Yeah, I was tired of seeing snap traps, you know, in Illinois when I was getting that bounty beaver. And and what I'm going to show you here is um, is real simple thing to do. Um, and you're going to get sick of catching beavers. That's what's going to happen. Um, I showed this to a friend of mine. She traps over there by planes, and it changed her world. All right, guys, we are down here on the ditch on the creek. And uh, let me show you I what I got. You can uh, hear me. Um, the beavers plug that up every year. And I was just telling the rancher they're going to plug that up in the fall. Um, so anyways, uh, right now we got travelers. I'm on a horseshoe bend right here. Okay. The wind is at my back, so the wind is going this way across the creek. This is the way I like it. I can't set. I got still got shelf ice. So... I got shelf ice, oh, there's some mud there, but there's ice right there. So I come over here where the current's hitting it more and um, and I got mud. So we're gonna go ahead and put it set in right here. Um, and I hope you guys can hear me with, uh, with this wind we got. There's two reasons why um, we get snap traps and toe catches while we're beaver trapping. Um, one reason is um, trap placement. On short-legged animals, you run your trap through the jaws. This is over the jaws. You run it through the jaws. You can actually run a smaller trap when you run them through the jaws like this. And you'll get heel catches. Uh, you run them like this, and you're gonna, get, you're gonna get feet thrown out or toe catches. What happens is that beaver comes in and that toe catches it right there hits it right there, it lifts that foot up, and you get you get toe catches, okay? Um, or if you just got a snap trap and you're setting them this way, the beaver steps right here, and, and it just literally throws his foot out. You set the trap this way, and um, you're gonna get heel catches, it's gonna grab it no matter what. You're gonna get sick of skinning beavers if you set your traps this way. I run offset, of course, the current's going this way, um, so I run, I run the dog on this side towards the center, okay? It's on a drowning rod from the bank to here to my elbow. It's going to be a hind foot catch right there. All right, so run it on the downhill slope right there, bed it in. Reason number two why we get toe catches, not enough pan tension. These guys running, um... Uh, um, sloppy pans, no pan tension at all. Man, if you guys would just up that pan tension, you guys would see more beaver caught. Um, so, so anyways, those are the two reasons why we get misses. You change those two things, you're gonna get sick of skinning beavers. So, uh, no guiding on this. Uh, I've got a nice channel coming up right here, right there. We're gonna go ahead and put a little lure on it. Little lure right there. That's it, man. Got so here's the set, just slicked up set with a little lure. And that's about it, a little caster lure right on this bend right here. So if we get any travelers, that's a, that's a dead beaver right there. Because uh, the Cowboys, they'll be showing up here next week and then uh, I won't have a place to sleep. I'll have to sleep in my dang truck. So this is a really big ranch. So um, a lot of cattle. So rancheros will be here before you know it. Um, so anyways, I got this week to go ahead and do what I can, either that or sleep in my truck and really don't feel like that right about now. Well, we got, we got one out of here. And I got a snap 330 over there. Well, it looks like I hit that channel right. There we go. Heck yeah, so that's two out of here. Well, that was a good little run in here. There might be more beaver in here than I thought. Um, so there's a, 
I just talked to the rancher and he said it completely, they completely changed the course of the creek. This is why I only want to catch 20. Dang it. 